Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we'll learn how to build a Webflow CMS dynamic slider. We're going to build this slider from scratch, step zero. We have a fresh Webflow build. We are going to cover every single step in order to build a dynamic slider with a dynamic slide count inside Webflow. Let's jump in and see how it works. We're in the live example going over the slider component. We are inside a fresh Webflow build and we are going to build this dynamic slider. We are going to make it dynamic with the F and Suite CMS library. We're going to first build the structure that we need. Then we're going to use the visual script writer to go and add our two important classes to generate the script that we need to go and make this slider dynamic. It's very simple, it's very easy. We're going through this step by step slowly for all beginners, all intermediate level people to really understand how this works. Let's do it. We are on a fresh build. There's absolutely nothing here. We have no pages. We've never published. We have no CMS. The very first thing we're going to do is build a quick little CMS. I'm going to go and call this my awesome collection. Let's do that. And we will add a description. We will add an image and let's go and add a link. Cool. So now we have a bit of information here. We'll add 20 items and there we go. We have a full CMS ready to work with. Great. Now inside the designer panel, we will go and add a div. This div is going to be the FS section. Before we get into the slider, let's create a little bit of an outer parent structure to make sure that our slider isn't just on the top left of the page. We have our FS section. We will, let's say, give that some top bottom padding of 100. And let's go and add 50-50 here. Great. Just creating a bit of space. We will put our FS content in here. FS content will have a 100% width. Let's go and make this a max width of 1000 pixels. And let's center it on the page. When we get larger than 1000 pixels, we wanna make sure that this is centered on the page for us. The auto margin left, auto margin right is going to do that for us. Excellent, this is the outer structure to make it nice to look at our slider. Note that we're using the prefix FS dash for everything in here. The reason is if you go and copy paste this build into your build, we don't want any naming conflicts. We don't want there to be classes that are renamed or confusion, so everything will be FS. You can go and change it after if you want. Let's now go add this slider. This is where the magic happens. I'll go down to the components and we will add a Webflow slider. Let's go and open this up inside the navigator and open up our slider. We have our slider, mask, and our slides. Let's go and add classes to each of these so we know what we're working with. We have our FS slider. We have our FS mask. We have our FS slide. Now, be mindful that this is the FS slide, not the FS slider. The FS slide is like this. Great. Traditionally, if you were going to go and build a dynamic Webflow slider with this slider component, you would have to go and create a new slide for every single item that you want in that slider. That's not how this works. These slides will be created dynamically with the FN Suite CMS library and our collection list. So we will just continue building on these two slides. What I will first do is go and add a collection list inside this first slide. I'll give it a source of my awesome collections and the awesome collections will be limited to one. If you've done the dynamic slider before, this looks like it's about the same. We have the first few steps the same, and then we're going to do a few more after that makes this dynamic. 
What I'll do is go and add a class to each layer of this collection list wrapper. So we have our collection list wrapper as FS collection. I'll copy this as our official prefix for the dynamic stuff. And we'll call this the wrapper. I will call this the list, the FS collection list, and the FS collection item. I will go and give 100% width and 100% height to all three of these layers. We are essentially going to remove these layers on the published site. So we want them to not really exist. And to not really exist, we'll make them 100-100 to expand the full size of the slide. So we have all of these expanding the full size of this slide. This will stay. You can style this slider however you want. It will stay on the published site. These three layers, bye-bye. They are gone. We will essentially remove them. So we'll go and put our div block in here. This is not removed. This is what is copy and pasted into the slide. So let's go and call this our FS F S dynamic content F S din contact content. Now, nah, you know what? I don't like that name. Let's go and change that. What should we call this? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it the slide content. This is the FS slide content. That is what we are actually doing here. So let's go and create this also at 100%, 100%. Great. I'm now going to go in and let's say add our actual content. Let's go and do that. I'm gonna go add an image. We have an image inside of our CMS collection. I'll go and put that in here. Before we get too far, this is certainly in our way. So let's go and call this the FS image. We're going to do this at 300 pixels and let's go and create an inner div that will hold the content and we will go and add a heading. Let's go and add a bit of paragraph text and let's go and add a link block with some text inside. Awesome. Let's put a bit of a style on this, let's say a flex, horizontal, align, justify like this. Perfect, now we can see what's going on. We have our FS image, let's give it a bit of space here. And let's go and connect these to our dynamic fields. Sweet, awesome, description. Let's call this learn more now. Let's make this URL dynamic. We'll open it in a new tab. Excellent, this is what we're talking about here. Let's go and center this. Let's center it like this. And we'll also make sure that we are going to not run into our slider arrows. Great. So this should be pretty good. I feel pretty good about this. This is our slider right here. This is what we want this to look like. Great. Let's go into preview and make sure this works. Exactly what we're looking for, excellent. So now we are going to go to this second slide. And what you can do is just go and copy this right inside. These are just placeholders. They're placeholders now, they will be placeholders forever. They are never going to be published with our slider. The reason we are putting these collectionless wrappers inside the slide is just so we can use designer as a visual tool to build these dynamic sliders. When we go into preview and we go to our next slide, this is what it's going to look like. Maybe we have 20 slides or 50 slides or three slides. We wanna see how it looks in preview first. Maybe you wanna go and add some Webflow interactions to the slider. Maybe you want some hover effects, whatever you want. We are going to make sure that it looks good right away. And I'll go and even apply some classes to these, make sure that everything we want is working. 
and let's go to this ridiculous color. Nice. And let's add a transition. Cool for font color. Sweet. Good, good. Don't care too much. Excellent. Okay, so we have our effect. We're good. What we are going to be actually doing is essentially copy and pasting the FS slide content into each slide. I'm going to show you what this looks like. So I'm going to open up this second slide and I will go and unattach every single thing we have in here. All of the connections to our CMS will be removed. And I will go remove this. When we go to our published site, this is what's happening right here. You are looking at it. We are copy and pasting each FS slide content into the slide. And we are creating the amount of slides that we have for the amount of items in our collection wrapper. Great. So this is looking great. And just so we have this here, this was going to look weird because it's a square. And nope, I don't have any images handy. Nope, that's it. So this is what it looks like. Let's go and just view this. Great. The reason we just did that is to visually show you here inside Designer that this is what's happening on the live site. Great. This is the structure that we need. We just built it. This is the most difficult part of this entire walkthrough. Now, what we will do is go to our primary list here, this list that we have inside the slide. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it at the end of this section. I can put it anywhere on the page. It really doesn't matter. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. The only thing I have to do is give a unique class to this list item. We have the FS collection list. We have another one here on the page. We need to classify this list as something unique. So let's go and call this the FS dynamic feed. FS dynamic feed is going to be our official slide generation, content generation master list for our slider. So we don't want to only show one slide. We want many slides. And let's say we want 20. Great. We're showing all 20 here. And of course, we do not want this to be hit. We don't want this to be visible. If we were to go and publish this site like this, this looks quite bad. Very bad. We would not want to do that. So let's go and make this hidden. We have this hidden. It does not need to be visible. It's only serving as the source for our content inside the slider. Excellent. Those are the two classes we need. We have the FS dynamic feed and we have the FS slider. Now let's go to the visual script writer and actually generate this JavaScript with these two classes without writing a single line. Here I'll go to visualscript.webflow.io and you will be met with the functionality tab. We're going into the components tab and you can see we have our CMS slider open here. The CMS list class is our FS dynamic feed. This is the official list that is going to be populating the slider. We have our FS dynamic list. Cool. FS dynamic list. Then we have our slider class, which is FS slider. Then we're going to reset IX. And we are going to copy this code. That's it. You just wrote the JavaScript to generate this dynamic slider. It's really that simple. So I've copied the code. I'm going to go inside the home page here, inside the page settings. You can also put this on site settings, but if you only have your slider on one page, go ahead and put it in the page settings. And I'll go and paste this 
right in here. That's it. So actually, before we go and paste this in, let me first publish the, the site and we'll see what it looks like. Then we are going to load that page with our script. Ah, <laughs> okay, I messed up. FS dynamic list is FS dynamic feed. It's the FS dynamic feed. That was a close one. We have our dynamic feed. I will go and re-paste this in here with dynamic feed. Great. Okay, let's go and see this without the code. The code is not being run here. This is exactly what we'd expect to see. We have this hidden. We have two slides. One of them is dynamic. One of them is just this element. Now, let's go and publish with this script. And what we will see is our slider with many, many slides. And you know what? Let's make this super visible. Yeah, let's, let's invert these colors so we see exactly how many slides we have. Great. So let's go and load this with all of our slides. Wow, that was just too easy. Look at all of this dynamic content exactly how we want it. We have all of our slides here all ready to rock and roll. Great. Now let's say we don't want that many slides and we maybe we just want five or we want six or whatever it is. You can go and do that by limiting the items starting at one and let's show, I don't know, six. Great. Now when we go and republish this page, we're going to see six slides. Nice. There we go. So you have just built a Webflow CMS dynamic slider. It's very simple. If you have questions about it, if you're not able to do this, you lost a step here inside this walkthrough, please try it again, figure it out. You will be able to get it with just a bit of practice. If you still can't get it, go to sweetjs.io, join our Slack channel, join our communication community around JavaScript, and we will help you with this implementation. If you have questions, reach out. We're FinSuite. We are here to help you enjoy this dynamic slider. That's FinSuite.